Hello everyone, I'm Antsamp, and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, I was looking through the menus, and I noticed there I have a parrot now. He's really tiny, but... He's a thing now. Uh, apparently we just have. It might, might be for getting the uh, Jungle Awakens DLC or something like that. But I did notice how, like, you know, we have this cape, but are we going to get any other character cosmetics or something like that? Or like, yeah, like any more capes or anything? If not, I guess it's okay. It's just kind of, you know, you got this whole menu that seems like it could have a lot in it, but it doesn't. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with the baby chicken because it's, it's our... Or baby boy, uh huh. <laughs> but, uh. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, okay, I guess we're just going to do this. <laughs> oh, and also, I was reading up some stuff about, like, about Minecraft Dungeons just in general, and they said that it's supposed to, like, the main game is supposed to be doable in one sitting, or, like, in a, under a day. And I'm like, because my playthrough is like, well, okay, I guess my playthrough is like five hours long or something like that, but whatever, like five to six hours, but fell deep within the jungle. Well, okay, you know what? Never mind. I think it actually could be doable in a day. It's not really. I don't think it's really a good thing that you're selling a single player, or well, not a single player, but like a you know a quote unquote story driven game. That could be done in like a day. And then you sell it for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I mean, at least it has like co op and stuff like that. So it's not quite as like a. Ridiculous price. But I don't know, it, it just kind of feels like... I mean, it definitely... I definitely think that if it was anything higher than $20, then it would have been too cash-grabby. But 20 bucks, I think, is... I don't know, it kind of even feel. Sometimes it even feels a little too much for even 20 but... I don't know. I'd probably vote more for the $15 range, but... Oh well. I'm not a business person, so I don't know how a lot of stuff works for me. Wow, great hammer. Let me salvage that immediately, because I know it's going to be bad. Um, alright, that's all that was that way. Uh, so what was the other DLC that's for this game called? Because I know there's a second, like, area. It's snow-themed. Uh, it's probably gonna have a. I'm gonna just throw out a wild guess that it's gonna have a Yeti in it. Not that that's too crazy or interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. Interesting. Fine. Like, stretch, but. It's not a bad thing to have a Yeti enemy in your game. You see how, like, that spider did the weird, like, hop thing as it was, like, trying to run away? It sounds like there's enemies from this direction. Or maybe it's supposed to just sound like there's enemies everywhere. <clears throat> I keep I think I'm getting I keep getting saliva and it's like caught in my throat. Well, that's 
I'll just tote him. Oh, it's a, like something is set down. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Can I? Okay, I can't pick it up. You know, even though there's new enemies in this um, DLC, it still feels like there's a lot of the generic enemies. <laughs> like there's still a lot of normal spiders and normal skeletons and normal zombies. And I mean, it's okay if there's some, it just feels like there's a ton. I don't know, maybe I'm just looking for something to hate on this game about or something like that. I do appreciate the new enemies though, because they're mostly all unique. Prana Plant Man is not very unique, but... Uh, at least be a good gag for children, I feel like. This blarging. Jeez, I just yeeted that TNT super far. I see you, side dungeon area. So is there only gonna be one new boss for this DLC? I guess it would be okay if there was just one new boss, cause... And, uh, you know, hopefully it would be unique. I mean, it, it probably will be. It's kind of, they do a decent job with the bosses, I feel like. Did, did my llama just spawn in and my... <laughs> it, like, this got, like, teleported over, like, a, a cliff. Excuse me. I think it's a llama coming. I don't know what's wrong with me today. The yeah, llama just... Lama basically got murdered by the video game. Oh no, something's angry, I guess. What? Why, why can't I move? That was really weird. I think that was actually happening in the, the base game, so they... Yeah, for sure. Skeleton, goodbye. The game's telling me to go this way. This is the way I came, though. I thought. I don't know why. I, did. I think it was. Yeah, I thought I had the laser beam. Still. Why? I'm just piranha plant man. Oh, I think there was music playing, but it cut out as soon as I killed that guy. Oh my! There's a lot of people over. Uh oh. Okay. I apparently I died. Apparently there's a hole over there. Oh, that's 
death there. I think the weirdest thing in this game is is how there's the life the life system that acts very much like a like an old school like platformer game. Oh wait, this was a side dungeon. I forgot. Wait, we didn't see everything. Gotta go back. Uh, enter to me. Speed this up along a little bit. Just a little bit. Man, this is so engaging when you're just holding forward. <laughs> okay. Um. There's a pot over here. It's probably not going to be worth going all the way back, but I'm going to see what's here anyways. Oh, hey, there's another area. Now. Ooh, a double chest. Trick bow, yay. Oh, great hammer. Thanks for giving me, like, the two last items I would want. <laughs> Bundle than a trick bow. Okay. Well, time to move on, I suppose. And I wish there was more puzzles, because that that last level had like quite a few puzzle, or well, not quite a few. It had one uh, puzzle in it. And that was, like, way more interesting than, like, everything else this game's done so far. Like, the puzzles don't have to be super complicated or hard, but... It'd be nice to, ha like, vary it up with some puzzles. I like that there's at least a new, uh, consumable item. That's kind of nice. I mean, there's a lot of actually new stuff in here. It's made sound like they're not, but... The consumable is interesting. Actually, I wonder if that, uh, the oak brew or whatever it's called, I wonder if that defends against poison. Although, I guess it could do both of just being a flat defense up and then, like, a... Oh, sorry, can't. Both a defense up and a poison resist. A swiftness potion. Nice. Uh oh, it was a trap. Now, see, this is interesting. Why wasn't this in the uh, one like the one level where it was all these different traps, mechanic stuff like that. the wall, the, the pushing walls, and the saw blades. This would have fit that level way more than it does this level. <laughs> All I got was like three coins out of it. Or, excuse me, three emeralds. I will say it's kind of weird that they chose emeralds as like the currency, if you will, because emeralds in real life are, you know, 
pretty hard to come by gems. Well, I mean, they are a gem zone, and gem zones are generally hard to come by. Although, given hard to come by is kind of a vague term, because there is a lot of diamond that people have found still, so... But you know what I mean. Level. Oh, I guess we're not supposed to be going this way? Well, if that makes sense, there's nothing over this way. Cool! Man, I'm... I must be, like... Getting rusty quick from not recording. My voice is already sore. Maybe I should I should just not talk as much. Self outage right there. So I just realized my chicken's gone. Where's my chicken at? Uh, here. There, we go. there he is. And there's my llama. I'm just gonna go into the center. See what we get. Ooh, look at this big red cube. <laughs> Oh no, another ambush. are getting kind of old. No, llama. Ow. Another thing that I saw while I was, like, looking online and stuff about this game is that they call it a hack and slash, which I guess it kind of fits that description, but unlike a hack and slash, it, the beating up enemies is not exactly, like, there's not a whole lot of different ways to just beat the crap out of your foes. Thank him for me, Llama. And there he goes. Wow. I kind of wish that there was new, like, mini-bosses in, like, the vein of the Enderman and Evoker. But that doesn't seem to be any of that either. Kind of lame. Um, I'm gonna do that. 
I'll totally kill them all, right? Nope. I want to just enchant stuff real quick. Can I please just enchant things? I'm being annoyed by stupid enemies. Um. Okay, I only have enough to do one enchantment. And I think I want to do better lightning. As if our lightning isn't already good enough, well, let's make it even better. Taking so much, like, chip damage. <laughs> There's just so many things dealing, like, small bits of damage to me. Is usually good. Excuse me, Herb. There's a constant stream of enemies here, it seems like. Okay, we got a breather moment. Okay, so I'm going to sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. And you know, I honestly seem to be doing fine without the snowball. I'm mean, gonna delete that. <laughs> delete. Delete this armor. It is no longer in the video game. While I do wonder, like, what's in the higher, uh, modes, I hope it's not anything, like, super substantial, other than just, like, new gear and new artifacts or whatever, because it's kind of weird. Well, okay, in a way, I wish it's, it was more than that, but in another way, I wish it was, was just that, because... I would like more content in this game, yes, but... And going through this the same game with just get, being able to get better gear is kind of lame sounding to me, but... At the same time... I don't... I feel like new content in this game would not... make it super stellar. Wait. I have to go this way. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, I feel like more... If they added more content, then... I don't know. Because, like, the, the problems I have with this game is just how it works functions fundamentally. And I don't think they're gonna ever change that. Just because, you know, why would they? I haven't heard enough people complain about how the game works on, like, a fundamental level. Cause it's not inherently bad, it's just kind of boring after a while. And... Well, 
I, I won't go into review mode here. Uh, oh my. A lot of plant shooter guys and nothing else over here. have to make a, a successful uh, roll across. Oh no, there's this up path. Ooh, I like how there's a hole there. That actually makes it way more interesting. I want more of the interesting parts of this level, please. Sell a, this level as a ruined temple, then add more holes in the floor. And add, like, parts of, like, building that are just, like, been fallen over and, like, block a pathway or something. You know, for a temple, this is very outdoorsy. Usually temples are, like, a lot of indoor stuff, I feel like. Of course, this is, like, a jungle temple, so it'd be kind of weird for it to be inside, I guess. No, not necessarily. You can make it kind of... Um... Like, a little in Indiana Jones style, where... You know, like, there's the rolling boulders and all that over-the-top goofy stuff. Am I supposed to be doing a puzzle here? I don't like that there's enemies around my puzzle, but... I keep forgetting that I have a bow. Ow, why did I walk into that? A lot of bowmen over here. Jeez, dude, there's so much over here. <laughs> Or things freak out every time they, they die. Oh no, it's an ambush. Oh no, whatever am I going to do? Potions. <laughs> this will help, help us get back to the center area quicker. I really wish that you were able to just like automatically pop the 
Like, you're able to just, like, buy swiftness potions and activate them whenever you want, because it makes moving around so much easier. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. Talking so much has made me tired. So what's the what's the puzzle here exactly? Please let me hit the button. Please let me hit the button, there we go. Okay, I guess I had to have them both face that way. Oh, that's... Ooh, I think we actually have to go into the sub-area. Interesting music. Sword went through them, creeper. Ooh, a treasure chest. An axe. I like how the axe is treated more than a like an actual weapon in this game, whereas in the normal Minecraft, they kind of make it this weird. Oh, excuse me. They try to make this this weird hybrid of like a weapon and a just normal tool or something. I don't know. Treasure chest drop somewhere? I think that's usually the treasure chest noise. Ooh, yes, it's over there though. How do we get to that? Okay. Hey, peak armor. Wow, okay, both my attacks missed that slow moving dude. <sighs> just gonna go on for a while. Um, ah, screw it, I'm just gonna head towards the story. Or rather, where the game wants me to go. I feel like we're getting close to the end of the level, anyways. Man, has a whole lot not really happened in the past 30 minutes. Do I need a key from down here? I guess so. Let me go back. And enter me speed through this part again, please. Oh, okay, I'm back. I oops. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, I was gonna run back. Um, oh, I got to push the button. Ocelot armor. I really wish the Ocelot armor was, like, actually good, so that I could put buttons for. And I have to, like, find the right button? I I'm confused by what that was.
Okay. I'm glad that the game made me go all the way over here to find the key question mark. I haven't actually found the key yet. I just found more ambushes, more of the same thing we've been dealing with this entire DLC. How many of these um, enemy designs they took from like things that people made in like the for like the Minecraft store and stuff like that? Yay! Ocelot armor. Oh, yeah. oh, apparently that was. But I didn't get any sort of key or anything. I do appreciate the teleport back, but like, is, I'm supposed to get an item here, right? Or was I supposed to just go through this part? I really wish that, like, the game would be more direct <laughs> on where I'm supposed to be going. Can I unlock it now? Nope. Apparently I need a key somewhere. Oh, the key that- I think it's that lit up thing? No, wait, no, I think that's a dropped item. Let me go- Enter me cut the- cut again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I'm back. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm back. So, apparently, I did this area I didn't actually go to when the game said I did. I really enjoy the inaccuracy of the, the map tracking in this game. I have to do this, and then I can get that key guy all over there. Potion. Yes, now go over here, grab this dude, and run back. Open that door, kill off spiders. Oh my god. <laughs> this game. <laughs> this game. Well, at least we made it through. Oh great, we're getting an ambush in this place? Wow. This is like the 20th ambush we've had in this one level. And all it is is a bunch of creepers that I got one shot. Are we getting another one? Ugh, this is not interesting content. to like video game. I don't care how many creepers you put in here. It's not interesting. Why was this in Creeper Woods? There's just creepers everywhere. Oh wow, look, another great hammer. Wow, it's like our 12th great hammer. It sucks like all the other ones. I don't mean to be sadistic, if that's the right word. Man, but... Eat. Oh, hey, look. A jungle abomination. Now, here's finally a boss. Oh, gosh. I like the big, like, meaty sound effect going on. I'm not sure how 
Oh, I don't jump forward. Oh, can I have a trap to set down? Maybe it's only something that's only active when it is visible. Is this guy like taking a dump or something? What are you doing? This boss ain't gonna be interesting if you go. Oh. No, he's kinda interesting. He summons his own playing creatures. I like how he looks like he's kind of holding a cane. So that boss was kind of lame. He had like one interesting attack and that, and it was pretty much just the same as the Piranha Plant guys except the thing actually hurt you on touch damage, which is why I thought the normal version should do, but that's okay. Yeah. Ooh, actually, I, I want to at least check out this fire Ooh, so 20 damage. Uh, oh, my third enemies, I thought. Only great hammer garbage. Um, what's this? Weakening? Oh, okay, I think we've, we've seen that before. I don't know. It's got okay moves or er, enchantments. It looks like. But that was really the only boss in this entire DLC. Then this is this is kind of just lame. I I, I gotta be honest. Destroyed? When did we destroy a shard? Like, at all during that? <laughs> there was that red cube thing. I don't know what that was. But it was cool, I guess. It definitely didn't look like one of the shards. Corrupted seeds. Grow grapple vines? Oh, I let me try this out real quick. Okay, I don't know what that did, but cool. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot I have to wait until the cooldown's on. Um Okay, that was the whole DLC. Cool. That was not very I mean like there's was... okay, the DLC was about the same quality as a normal game. It it was okay. The boss was lame, and that was about it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I th I liked the 
the jungle theme of it. Most of the enemy new enemies were pretty interesting, I guess. The firebrand at least is interesting. I, I probably won't use it, but I, I like it. Wait, it says craft in the blackest depths of fire the fiery forge. So why wasn't it in the fiery forge? <laughs> why did I get it in the jungle? But I don't know. Oh, and I I can max out all my abilities now, I think. Well, close to all of them. Yeah, I'm one point short, oh well. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess that'll be it for this episode. And for... It, gonna be it for Minecraft for the moment until the... Creeping Winter DLC comes out, and then I'll play that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you all for so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Twitter for all news related to this channel. And please don't let my uh, negativity about this game keep you away from the channel. Normally I try to stay positive. It's just... I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that, I guess. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next episode.